So one thing, as I go around, you guys are going to see me using a couple of different cameras. Um, that is because I have better quality in the picture from my iPhone 12 Pro. And this is, um, I have this rigged up because I have the microphone on my GoPro 4. So you guys are going to be getting kind of a, a piece together. But I'm just going to give you a quick spin around the room. You guys saw most of that on the other one. Um, but just, just a once over real quick because we are all set up. I've got some really cool antique chairs that I was talking about the last time. Um, the, the Kind of a Montana Lodge type feel, which I really like. That's kind of my style. Is Southwestern or Northwestern style. Lots of stickers. You guys are, know me for my stickers. This is done now. This is the wall of paint. And Mike is around here somewhere. I think he is at the Home Depot right now. This is a great big, 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 big warehouse shop. And you guys are not going to see any of that yet. It's coming. Uh, but you're probably going to see that over on Mike's Bullshad channel. So just to kind of give you, I'm, I'm probably just going to focus on this because my paints and my inks are all set up now. And uh, I have worked for five years building this collection and just piecing it together little by little. Uh, Mike and I made the shelves. This is just uh, super cheap. You guys can probably do something like that or similar in your space if you want to get it up and off of your spray bench or whatever area you're using. It's just two dog ear fence pickets for $1.97 a piece. And then underneath we've got uh, some lighting, which is just kind of cool and tricked out. It gives a really good studio vibe. And then some metal brackets. We've got three of those in place. And as far as this, now you can see those, those are spice racks. Um, not to be confused with Spice Girls. Those are spice racks. You can get them at Walmart for about $12. I'm using one, two, three up top, one on the bottom. And again, that gets all of my stuff up where I can see it. I can kind of color code it because I'm a little OCD like that. And uh, this... These are part of the old shelving units I brought from my old studio. The only difference is I had some 12 by 12 Italian marble tiles just laying around because that's uh, they were, I think, my mom's and she never used them. So I'm like, hey, how about if I take like 10 of them? So that is what has built my shelving. And it looks really cool. But I got those for free. So I did not use any cash to get those. Different colors. This is like a yellowish white, some red, but that's also marble. So we got that going on. We've got shipping. We've got all of that stuff. Spray, spray paint, Montana cans and iron lac. My stay safe masks. All the reference stuff, yada, yada, yada. You've seen most of that. On to what we have got part two on this two for Tuesday, which is what I have been doing. So I've got some peanuts and a two-piece. These are bull shads. They are not available on the website and yeah we're probably gonna drop them at some point soon. I'll keep you guys posted. But these are pretty cool. I should have gloves on but we've had some water. We had a hellacious storm last night in North Georgia. Um, Alabama a tornado did some damage and I think it took some lives so prayers for everybody in Alabama that was affected by last night's tornado. Uh, cannot seem to get away from Tornado Alley, Alley and Dixie Alley. And then Mississippi, I think, one touchdown. Nothing touched down here in Georgia, thank goodness, but we did get a lot of rain and a lot of wind. But I've got these this morning. These are little peanuts. I'm just going to take you around here and show you. I have two albino peanuts. Pick these little guys up. Got the fur. Hey, hey, hey. 2021, folks. Super stoked about that. Um, Mike was joking me. He said that these kind of look like guinea pigs, so I did a guinea pig nose and mouth on there. thought that was kind of cool. My little guinea pig peanuts. 
and then the albino two piece which um, if you guys are familiar with the bullshad rats they've been threes this is a two it's a little bit uh, lighter swims really really fast and nope I'm gonna leave all that stuff to Mike so he can show you how all this stuff swims eventually two pieces over here um, going to customers this is a shell cracker pattern that I really enjoyed doing um, you can see that bright red slice on its ear flap and this is uh, let's see what colors did we use sunrise yellow over top of a fluorescent yellow some lime green some moss green and this is not an orange it is a burnt sienna for the actual markings on this guy these are Jetson lure eyes and three coats of clear I'm going out to a customer I also have a couple things up here that I just finished this is also for a customer we're waiting on some bull gills to come in if you guys have an open order and it's part shad and part um, bull gill I'm just waiting on the bull gills to come back in stock from Ketchco because I'm getting them directly from those fine folks out of Chicago so this is I'll pick this up and show you this is the clean green or the Irish mint gill really pretty yes it has a home uh, this is a replacement for an existing customer I tell you what mail has been ridiculous folks and the striped bass or a rockfish if you will I've got some 1.5s I've done this pattern before but it's become really popular I love this color this is one of my favorite colors to do this kind of olive drab greenish and then we have some more ruddy rust red little orange yellow on top and then goes down into that beautiful deep rust red on the belly and on the bottom and a little bit of red on the nose these I've got a couple of these but this is that um, Excalibur and a dirty shad and another red breast sunfish so pretty so pretty so pretty so yeah I'm, uh, I'm finding my way here pretty well I've got the studio set up exactly how I want it thank you so so much Cody Kirk and Mike Buca for putting in this big ass fan um, it, it basically will I'll stick to the I mean it's really good high powered sucks everything out yes I still wear my mask which is right down here change your cartridges every month or so if you're spraying a lot like me and um, yep just doing orders now and start to spray some bullshed stuff in house and having a lot of fun with that and I'm really excited to be here and very humble to be back into the YouTube scene I missed you guys I missed you guys I missed you guys so much um, so yeah, it's just it's great to get back in the saddle. I will see you guys on a spray session really, really soon. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.